Hi. Culprit will be meeting the Backstreet Boys in less than 24 hours D here. And today I'm going to talk about something. It is a video response to Anthony Fantano, aka the Needle Drops, recent video about best of's, greatest hits, number ones, these compilations of essential works by artists being obsolete. Are greatest hits albums obsolete? Um, I'm gonna have to answer that with a very strong no. Um, do I think they're headed that way? Glacially. Glacially. At least from my own experience. Uh, I work in the music department at a major retail bookstore. Won't say it, but I'm sure you can assume what it is. Anyway, uh, a lot of people come in looking for best ofs, greatest hits, hits anthologies, number ones, uh, singles collections, yada, 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 yada. Um, because either people are wanting to get introduced to an artist, which that is something that I do when I want to get introduced to an artist. Every now and then, I will buy a cheap best of, you know, maybe not this essential anthology huge collection, but maybe just like a 10 or 12 track simple thing. Um, also, you have a lot of what I call the uh, mainstream or the top 40 listeners who are looking for an artist, um, but they don't want all the songs. They just want the number one hits. For example, an artist like James Taylor. People who just want, you know, your Shower the Peoples and How Sweet It Is and Fire and Rain. They just want those uh, chart climbing songs that are, you know, earworm and, and just kind of uh, billboard friendly, really. Um, and you know, some other artists have other songs that are more original and they didn't make it because for whatever reason they didn't appeal as a single and they weren't pushed as a single so people don't want all that kind of experimentation or exploration of uniqueness in songwriting they just want the hits the ones that were popular and take them to the days when things were simpler plus another thing about greatest hits best of albums is that there are some hits and essential and best of albums that are just classic and everyone I think owns one of these classic uh, best of or greatest hits albums be it the Backstreet Boys Chapter 1, the best of Stevie Ray Vaughan and Double Trouble, Ramones Mania, the Doobie Brothers greatest hits that sold so well, Def Leppard's The Vault, Van Halen's Best of Both Worlds Yada yada yada, all these best selling best of albums. They're kind of essential. And However, I will say in regard to best of greatest hits things, um, I think with modern artists, the artists that we know right now and that my generation and future generations are going, uh, going to get to know, I think best ofs for them, now that's where I think it will get obsolete. Because you can just go online and pirate the stuff and not even need to pay for a best of thank you internet and then that and it's gonna be debatable well what is a best of what 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 is a hit because you have a lot of artists right now and they're very popular and they're uh, they're getting a lot of buzz but it may just be viral they may just be an online sensation as opposed to getting hits on the radio so a record label is not gonna go and put out a you know best viral hits of young Jeezy you know there's not gonna be any of that you know because I mean each day more and more songs that are popular not are not necessarily on the radio or on an album even well at least that's how I view greatest hits and best ofs they're not obsolete people ask for them every day every day where I work people buy them constantly put them on hold ask for them dig through crates for them and uh, I do too. I buy them when I want to get an int introduction 
to an artist or if I want to introduce somebody to an artist that I like I will say here is a copy of or you should pick up a copy of the 10 best or the 20th century collections and then especially with companies like legacy music which is a division of Sony BMG and the 20th century music collections and uh, now the flashback um, series that's under Warner Brothers and the icon series under Universal Music I mean every month they're putting out these collections and best ofs of different artists you know now granted they're mostly artists from you know the late 90s and back but still they're putting them out every day and I don't think they would put them out unless they knew they were gonna sell uh, because they do um, so greatest hits best ofs they're not obsolete uh, by any means um, a little less popular, maybe, but I think tangible, hard copies of discs and, and, and things like that are becoming less popular as a whole. So you can't just throw best ofs. You know, you can't just separate it. It's hard copies of music as a whole that's dying out. And that's all I've got to say about that. Thank you, Colbert D. Hopefully have more videos coming soon after my trip to meet these gentlemen right here. We'll have some video from that, and uh, that is all. No, really, that's all.